of this stuff installed. It's been a while since I've taken all the stuff out. All I did was take out this one harness that's at the bottom. There you go, now this whole trim piece comes out. From what I can tell, there's six screws that I gotta take out. It looks like this bracket came out. All right, there you go. So I got one clip undone, that was at the bottom. Okay, it looks like this is reusable. Just undo that. Pull this through, and now your head unit is completely disconnected out of the car. So next we have a shitload of harnesses. I think this is the GPS antenna bracket. I don't know where that goes. Our right, first thing we're gonna visit, we're gonna take this harness and see where it goes. It has a bunch of labels on it. It says brake reverse um, amp con. Okay, looks like that snapped in. So this is what the back of the Android head unit looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Son of a bitch, why is it cracked already? They sent me a cracked unit. I should have noticed that earlier. The thing is cracked. Son of a... Let me take a picture of this. Oh well, it's just a small crack. Um, I'll email uh, my contacts over there at Sakane and see what they'll do for me. And then I'll let you guys know exactly what and if they do anything for me. Uh, I mean, if, if it's final, it's final. Um, but I think uh, getting a cracked unit is totally unacceptable. All right, well, I sent the email. Let's see what they do. And uh, dang, it looks like it's starting to rain. I might have to put this in the garage. All right, I'm back. I took a little break, just trying to figure everything out. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my USB cables and I'm just gonna route that over to uh, the glove box. And that's really easy. There's a hole and you can easily see that. I'll need to show that. I took a little break. It's getting a little dark now. It's starting to rain, so. That's why the picture might look a little different. I don't know exactly where I'm going to mount this. It looks like this connects into the mic in here somewhere and we'll find a place to mount it. Probably somewhere on the steering column. Oh, there you go. Looks like you gotta force it in there a little bit. And, oh, where's the GPS? Oh, here's a GPS antenna. Let's see where I'm gonna mount this. Yeah, it looks like that's a magnet. There's a metal bar in there, you'll see, and I'm just gonna attach that right there so far. So probably somewhere up top might zip tie that just for extra stability mic check one two three okay so it is now the next day and i just ran out of light so i had to wait until the next day to go ahead and do this so let's go ahead and continue on so what i did last night was took my microphone cable and just routed through all the way down into there and up into my steering column which i will show you later you won't even notice it unless i point it out to you so there is the uh connection for the microphone okay in my unboxing i told you that if there are any harnesses that you're going to need i'm going to go ahead and let you know exactly which harnesses you will need to purchase to get the the unit 100 functional now this might be a deal breaker for some of you guys if you have a 2016 the 2016 uses its head unit as a backup camera i have a 2015 and 2015s uh use the multifunction display up top as a backup camera but I emailed uh, AE64 and Auto Harness House. Auto Harness House is uh, the only one that replied back to me and they told me exactly which harnesses I need to buy. So th there is a harness that will help you uh, retain or relocate your backup camera. Camera. They do sell a uh, harness for that. Also, they do sell a harness for if you wanna retain your USB that's in your storage compartment and also uh, another harness if you wanna retain your auxiliary connection. So without those harnesses, your USB, your auxiliary input, and if you have a 2016, your backup camera will not work. So for some of you, that might be a deal breaker, but it's not a lost cause because you can purchase additional harnesses to get everything working. How the wiring is on those harnesses, I do not know. I do not have those harnesses as of yet. So earlier, I, I, the only thing I did was uh, plug in the main harnesses. Uh, these OEM harnesses that you're gonna that you see right here, that's in my hand. These are not gonna be used. These are probably gonna get zip tied in there somewhere to prevent from rattling. Also, these is uh, this pink this pink one will not uh, be used. I don't know what this is for. I think some of them is for your XM um, antenna. So as far as the install, 
already plugged in my my HVAC unit into here. Now, when when I was uh, screwing everything in, this is a tight fit. I don't think the OEM screws are meant for this bezel, so you kind of have to muscle it in there. But once you work it in there, it fits just fine, to be honest with you. So let's see. First off, let's go ahead and uh, let's get the GPS antenna plugged in. That's simple. That just screws right in. Hopefully, you can see all that. I'm gonna try not to scratch the screen. I still got the protective cover on there. So GPS is hooked up. So this is gonna be for your USB and your uh, microphone. Also you have these harnesses if you ever plan on installing a, an outside video source, um, subwoofer, or if you wanna connect an amplifier um, to your head unit. This is the harness you're gonna need. It's pretty much zip tied all together. So once you get all those wires, I'm probably gonna zip tie this somewhere to prevent it from rattling. All you have to do is connect the main harness into this port right here, and you can pretty much install uh, the unit. The OEM antenna, I'm gonna see if it works. I don't know if it does, it does, if it doesn't, oh well, no big deal. First you wanna do is you get your HVAC uh, controls plugged in first, because that's gonna be a tight fit. All right, so now you're at this point. So you're probably looking at, looking at the at the bezel. What about the vents? Well, here's the thing. My thesis is that this bezel is made for the 2016 and up. I have a 2015, so obviously these bezels will not fit. And I should have sh showed you this earlier. The tabs for the uh, for the vents are a lot wider. So it looks like the only one that will line up is this one. Yeah, these don't fit very well. And I tried it earlier off camera. You know, if I were to plug it in, or if I were to install it, you could pretty much see the holes on the vent. So this is why I'm thinking it's for the 2016. And also it doesn't fit very well. Obviously you can see the top fin does not want to cooperate. There is that. I might get 2016 um, vents. Probably hit up uh, Coop Nation or Michael Cooper. He's the guy that gets all my OEM parts. You know, kind of disappointed that the vents don't work on this, something that they should have said. So will it work? Um, yes, you can get it to fit, it just won't fit right. If this bothers you, that might be a deal breaker for you. Unfortunately, this is gonna have to do, let me just plug these in first, otherwise the vents will get in the way. It's your multi-function display cable and your hazard button. If I can just get in the fucking hole. And I have to turn everything on. Loaded up the Subaru emblem. All right, there you go. Everything is working. Uh, Waze, which was my, the number one thing that I wanted to uh, test out, which I don't know why it takes so long to boot. So there's that. I'll go over um, a full review of this unit uh, sometime later on. This is a car launcher that I downloaded. Let me set up my Wi-Fi so I can get Spotify. Hopefully I don't have to do this every time I get into the car, set up Wi-Fi, tether, and all that good stuff. Let's turn on some Spotify. Hopefully I don't get hit up by copyright. This thing just takes so long to load. All right, so let's test out um, Spotify. Let's see if this works. All right, got everything working. Now let's see if my steering wheel controls work. Hopefully you can hear me. There you go, I set that up last night off camera and I'll show you all that stuff later on. Okay, so there you go, everything is working so far. Next track works, put that back. And I'll show you how I set everything up. Mode, if the mode sets me up to radio, which does not work. Talk, if I push talk, it goes into uh, Google. Hey Google. Target is eight minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Here in your direction. So there you go, that works just fine. Let me take you back to Spotify. You know, of course, phone, the phone functions work. Up here, this is where I mounted the microphone. Um, alcohol, that stuck it on there. Not going anywhere. You can barely even see it. Routed the wire all the way down here. That's pretty much uh, the install. The install really isn't all that hard. It's just one wire harness, 
um, to get the unit powered on and the other optional um, harnesses if you want to uh, connect uh, an amp and uh, video or uh, video inputs and whatever. All right, so far off the bat, when I was playing with this last night, I already noticed that the sound so much better than the stock bass radio, without a doubt. You probably can't tell with the microphone that I'm using, uh, but yeah, it's just a much more cleaner, much more fuller sound. Um, it's interesting how much a a head unit can do for your overall sound. Still not the best sounding system at all. Definitely not the Harman Kardon system, but there is an improvement in the sound. But I'll go over ahead. I'll, I'll go over that in the review that's coming up in uh, probably in a couple weeks or so. So I'm gonna give you the full honest review of this head unit. Now, is this head unit better than stock or is it better than the legacy head units out there such as from uh, Pioneer, Alpine, uh, Kenwood, etc. You name it, should you get this over the other ones. Now this retails for $400. I do have a 5% discount code. I'll go ahead and put that down below for you. But anyways, that's pretty much the head unit. Pretty basic install. Pretty much anyone can do this if you have a screwdriver and a little bit of patience. So that about wraps it up, the quick install video. I appreciate your guys' support. Thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for the review video and find out if this unit is uh, worth your time and money. Other than this crack, yours probably wouldn't, won't have that. But once again, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And I do have a new part on the way. It is a visual mod. A deal came up that I just couldn't pass up. I wasn't planning on getting this mod, um, but it will be here probably sometime this week or next week. And then uh, stay tuned for that. You guys might like it. You guys might not. But talk to you guys later. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me.